That's it. I'm getting ready to uh, take me a shower so I can run some errands. So I was looking at this thing and somebody said, uh, if you run an errands, it's, uh, it's almost like going out. I think you can't tell me I ain't been out and done something when I'm running some errands. So I'm going to go run some errands. I got to pay some bills, but I got to go to the bank to get some cash or something. I need to go get my oil changed. So it depends on how the line is. The water, child, the water here don't get real hot. That's the only thing I do miss. The water don't get real hot here. And I done turned up the water heater, but it still don't get very hot. I had to go into the um, linen closet and get me some more of my oil of Olay. This is my favorite. This is what I use. I use this and I use... um. Y'all, if you don't have this, try it. It's a little bit pricey, but they last a long time. They like $4 or something cents a bar. I use the pastel, uh, peppermint and the almond. And right now, I got a peppermint in there. Bar in there. But if you... I would recommend the almond if you can't stand because the, now the peppermint will light you up down in your, you know, your lady parts. But this is the uh, almond. I use the liquid. I got the liquid some liquid in there of the peppermint now too so but i buy mine in target now i can't remember how much this the liquid is so anyway let me hop in the shower and i'll come back with y'all once i get out of the shower i'm back y'all y'all give me a fresh towel i wash my face I keep these in here because I used to use black soap and they used to, they're a little dingy. I still got some black soap, but, so I just keep, you know, these towels that I wash my face with in here. But my daughter had bought me some, um, some, uh, face stuff. I just do a general wash, like when I'm in the shower that she got. It's, um, I think it's a black owned business, but it's vegan skincare. I can show y'all, this is the toner part of it. Um, but I keep this soap separate. It's a soap. It's a three-part system. So, I'm trying to get, you know, some of my skin to clear up. When you start washing your face, too, y'all, make sure you have clean hands before you, even though I just got out of the shower, so. But I generally wash my hands before I put them on my face. And I wet my face up first. I see my daughter. I asked her, why was she doing that? She be rubbing her soap on her face like this. I'm like, she said sometimes it don't ladder up ladder 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 up enough. Ooh y'all. So what y'all got going on this fine Saturday? Mm. Yeah, and I've found the best tools to wash your faces with your hands. I'm going to ask y'all something, too. I'm going to ask y'all in a minute. Whew. Be trying to see if I got this, all the soap off. dry y'all I don't try not to rub it because like I say I generally wash it one good time in the shower just you know that's the first thing I do when I get in the shower is wash my face Ooh. and just like I like my my face stuff and q-tips is on that side but I have like a little thing with these pads in it over there and q-tips and cotton balls over there so I um uh, I don't want to be flashing y'all. My daughter bought me this roll, but it don't have a belt to it. So I just put a little bit on and kind of it just for, for you to make sure your face is clean. You know that you might have missed something with the uh with the uh with the she buys it. I don't know. It's kind of expensive if you ask me. So. It's gonna have to be my, and like you think you be the, you know, but that's all this residue that's from you washing. It's not that bad. 
you be thinking you be clean sometimes, then you still be. And then this is, you know, like I said, wash my face off in the shower, just washed it, and it still be a little bit of dirt and residue on there. And I take it on down to my neck. And now at night, <clears throat> y'all, I wash my face again, and I put this. I put this on there before I go to bed. This is just the Target brand. It's real cheap for acne, but I still break out. I don't know why in my older age, I started to break out a few years ago. And this has this, uh, apple, you can smell the apple cider vinegar, so if you can't stand the smell of it, it's apple cider vinegar and rosemary in the, to in the toner. <clears throat> and, huh? I'm talking to YouTube, my family. I'm talking to my YouTube family. What's up? What? Something wrong with you? Hold on, y'all. Let me help her. I'll be right back. Yeah, she be. So anyway, and then you finish it up with this face oil in the daytime. And it's the Deeply Hydrating Face Serum. And it's in J Joba Oil Orange Peel and Lavender is in this. And I just put a little, you know. And just rub it in the face real good. And that's that. Y'all, I used to be a strictly uh, Crestwood scope, but I had some coupons on this one time, and I've been using it since. Of course, I have like, I think, four tubes of it. So, uh, yeah, but I really like it. Optic White Renewal. What kind of toothpaste do y'all use? And um, are you strictly, I still buy the Crestwood scope, but so that's what my daughter uses. I still get good coupons on it, but like I said, I just start to really like Colgate. I never really was a Colgate person. So, mm -hmm. see me brushing my teeth the whole time so I just paused it for a minute but anyway and this is the mouthwash I use right now I generally use mostly Listerine brand that's my preference but when I have a coupon I'll get something else if it's a good deal or almost free but I prefer Listerine so I try to do as many coupon and deals on Listerine as I can I don't think I have a one big bottle of that and I got some Colgate but I'll use it Yeah, I was going to tell y'all too. This here I use. Now you have to dilute this. That's one reason why I had the cups. It don't take but a drop of this. But I use this mainly, Dr. Titioner's. It don't take a lot. It lasts a long time. I use it a lot when I'm sick. And like if my teeth hurt or like I only have one tooth and I got pulled years ago. But sometimes I still have three of my wisdom teeth. And sometimes they go to acting up and I'll start gargling with this. I don't know what it does. It seems like then a day or two I'm fine. But anyway, so... I keep me a little bottle of Dr. Tishner's as well. Y'all, these cups right here, they three dollars and something like at Target. And, but I got these for a dollar. I think it's, I don't know how many things, but I keep these a dollar at Dollar Tree. So, well, it's now it's a dollar twenty-five tree. Anyway, and when I get through, I keep my little white light soft wipes here on the counter. I do this and just wipe out my sink. Uh, you know. After I get through, I try to do this, you know, so I don't have to be trying to clean up all the time. And no major cleaning. I don't know what it is, y'all, but every time I keep paper towels here, too. And then I take and I wipe it across the mirror where this, I was splashed for some reason. I splash. 
and I wiped the mirror off as you can see here. Y'all can see it, but wiping the mirror off there. And I'll just wipe it down with a paper towel where it's splashed. Cause y'all, I'm not, I, I hate cleaning up to be honest with you. I need to vacuum the floors right now. They don't look bad, but I'm starting to see little stuff, so I'll do it one good time. Anyway, let me get dressed, y'all. I just kind of wanted to come in. Oh, I wanted to ask y'all something, too. I, um, hey, y'all. I know y'all said this girl say you done. This is my favorite, absolute, my favorite Yankee candle. I'll show y'all. I'm not burning this day. I'm going to burn another one a day when I go to clean it up. It's the Pink Sands candle. And um, I love the room deodorizer, too. I like the car things as well, but this one is my absolute favorite. But y'all, if you don't go to Yankee Candle, I know a lot of y'all are like a Bed Bath & Beyond, but I'm kind of low on the Yankee Candle. <laughs> and I uh, love this uh, love this spray. I've been keeping my faucet, you know. They used to tell us in the apartments all the time to keep your faucet dripping. And since it's so cold, it's 20-something degrees here. Let me turn this faucet back on. The tub is on dripping. That's, that's what y'all hear. I don't even know if y'all can hear it. It ain't that loud. But anyway, I got to turn the faucet back on. Let me go in here and fan me something to look decent. Thinking I'm looking cute and all. You know? <laughs> but anyway, I'll see y'all in a minute. So, I'm going to lotion up my body before I get dressed. I'll come back when I'm fully dressed. But anyway, I want to show y'all this. Now, I put this. This is what I use as far as. And I use shea butter, too. But I'm not using it today. I'll show y'all what I'm going to use today. I use shea butter a lot. And this is my brand. It's a little bit more pricey. But it lasts. Eucerin. And I use the lotion. I normally get a coupon for it at CVS, too. So. But I generally use that. But I'm going to use some Vaseline on my feet. I always use Vaseline on my feet, right? So, as y'all can see, this one is empty. This is my favorite. I love the Vaseline with the cocoa butter. So, normally they have it at Family Dollar, right? So, I sent my daughter, and I was driving. And I said, well, go on in the store. I had taken her to get her car service, and I was out. I knew this was out just at the end. So I said, go in there and get me some Vaseline. I didn't specify. But she said, I'll tell you in a minute. The cocoa butter kind, right? <sighs> she comes back with this. I ain't never heard of this before. And it's the cocoa butter kind. But I don't like the, it, the smell. It's not bad smell, but it's not like Vaseline. I'll just say this. Maybe I'm being brand specific, but just pay the extra. Now, this does the job just fine, but just pay the extra for the Vaseline. I say, I'm just going to pay the extra for the Vaseline. So, when I find some more of this, I did find one. So, I got one in stock, Vaseline, but I'm going to use this up. I'm just putting it on my feet anyway and on the bottom of my legs because I go back behind it with lotion. But, <laughs> yeah, uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. No, they need to work on the smell of this. I'll tell you that right now. What do y'all use on a daily basis to moisturize yourself? Now, you know, I don't know about no other race, but your black don't be going out ashy, looking like a chalkboard. I had to get on my daughter all the time. Anyway. <laughs> okay, y'all, I'm back. <clears throat> I was going to ask y'all, like, when y'all go on vacation, do y'all... I gotta comb my hair, y'all. You know, cause it's, I gotta get wig ready. Gotta get wig ready, baby. You know, since I ain't going out that long. You know, so you gotta comb your hair. Look, you gotta comb your wig too now. It just don't, just don't magically uh, be cute. Just don't magically be cute. And if y'all want this wig, it's called the Hanaya. Hanaya. H A N I A. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's what it's called. Y'all better not tell me I ain't cute. <laughs> I have to send y'all a ticket for violation, violation of the law, violation of the law. Lord, have mercy. It ought to be a shame. Can you come together like this just, whoo, magically? Whoo, what you said right there. Let me tuck it a little bit. Do a little styling of it, you know. 
Sometimes you got style and a little different. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like I can do so much this week. Anyway. Ooh. Let me put on my, uh, my lip gloss. And this is called, it's a pH balance. I got it from, um, I can't think, uh, uh, Physician's Formula. Physician's Formula. I get it from QVC. But it'll, uh, I might have to kiss myself. I might have to kiss somebody. I might have to kiss myself. <laughs> Jump back, make kiss myself. <laughs> Y'all know I'm silly. Anyway. Yeah, back to what I was saying. If you go on back, I don't know why I be doing all this, but I like my lips moisturized because you know you be having the mask on. And this does have a little tint on it, so it will get on your mask. But I generally wear, most of the time, a disposable under underneath my, um, what's her name? Now, my daughter always, she support a lot of black-owned businesses. She buy a lot of these products, child. But, um, like, she bought me this, and this is like, they make stuff, too. I'm going to put some coconut milk on today. Uh, but this is just like a little body mist she get me, and I spray that down. She know you want to smell good. Now, this, I wear this on a daily basis. I love this. Y'all, I wear other perfumes, too, but, like, on special occasions, but... If I just had to wear one every day, I kid you not. And Avon is not sponsoring me, by the way. None of these products, so I'm just sharing y'all what I use. But I love this Rare Apparel. It's a little light scent, and it smells really nice. I've gotten so many compliments on it. About 15 bottles, $15 a bottle, but I'm not putting this on today. Uh, and every now and then, like, she got me these body oils, too. I use some of these body oils. Once I put my main regimen on, but I ain't doing all that today. I ain't doing all that today. Yeah, I'm gonna spray some of this. I'm gonna spray the lady parts. Make sure you. Ooh, that smell good. Yeah, you smell good. Ooh, I'm gonna follow you. I'm gonna follow you. <laughs> y'all know I'm silly. Hey, y'all know, as y'all can see, I got on my Jamaica, Jamaica mind in my head. I'm gonna make myself. You know, I told y'all, I didn't really enjoy Jamaica off the cruise ship. We've been a couple of times. I didn't really enjoy it. So if somebody said you have to go back and experience it, you know, just on a resort or something. So I may do that. I don't know. Because it, I didn't, no. Yeah. But I got these things. I keep a coat in the car in the wintertime. But y'all, these little hoodie things, little jackets, $8 at Walmart. I got like three different colors. I got a black one. And a light blue one. And I just throw these on. I'm going to throw these on. I got to put my socks on. Too. So I ain't got to put this on right now. Let me get my socks and shoes on first. Whew. But I'm going to get my hand parts back in this house just as soon as I get done. But yeah, I want to ask y'all, like, when we doing plan for a trip, right? And uh, they try to convince me to do an Airbnb. I've never done an Airbnb. Right? I like a hotel, actually. Nothing against I I can't say I don't like an Airbnb. But my thing is just like, when you go up in the cabin, you're like, when I go on vacation, I don't want to do nothing. I'm not a messy person. As y'all see, I sleep on one side of the bed. So when the housekeepers come in, sometimes I just throw it up, but they make it up a little bit neater when they come in. You know, I just don't want to do nothing. I don't want to be washing no dishes. I don't want to be cooking. I don't want to be doing none of that. You know, because it ain't like I'm going to be gone more than a long time. Now, if it was an extended stay, then, you know, like I was going to stay two weeks then maybe. But it would be more economical. But, yeah, no. I'm a, and I don't want them to think I'm acting funny. But I might say, look, I'll meet y'all during the day. But I'm going back to the hotel. Because don't look at me that way when I ain't getting up here to cook nothing. I am not getting up washing no dishes. Uh, you come in my room, my bed may be still pulled back. Because sometimes I don't even make up my bed every day. To be honest with you. I just throw the sheets up. Throw the little cover up. It don't be neat. So, you know. I don't know. But y'all tell me what y'all think about an Airbnb. What you think? What you think? Let me know. What you have? You how was your experience? Anyway, let me put my socks and shoes on, and then I'm gonna get out of here. I might get back with y'all in the car, and then I might not. I just kind of want to share with you uh, my morning routine. Oh y'all, and this is another product I use. This is my go-to 
right here. But I also will use Suave. It's nothing wrong with Suave. It does pretty well. And I'll use Lady Speed Stick as well. Let me tell y'all. I generally don't get musty real quick. I don't. I tried that native. That ain't for me. It is not for me. And I generally keep, I, what I do have a little hair under my arms is very little because I generally shave and keep myself shaved up on here. And like I said, I don't generally get musty quick. But honey, mm -mm. that native is a no for me. Have y'all tried that natural deodorant? And if so, um, how was it? Did you try native? Uh, have you tried another nat natural brand that you might want to, you know, recommend to a sister? Anyway, I'm really... <laughs> I'm really going to uh, get off here. And just in case, I know, I probably ain't going to get back in the car because I don't, I don't know how long this video is. Y'all probably sick and tired of me already this morning. But anyway, I want you to have a happy and blessed Saturday. I hope you're doing something fun. I want you to know you're loved. I love you. But God truly loves you the most. Remember to always be kind to yourself and others. Be joyful and be blessed. Love you. Bye.